Deep within Russia, a silent sentinel sleeps. A relic of the Cold War, it waits. Its name whispers fear dead hand. This is no ordinary weapon. It is a system of ultimate retaliation, a guarantee of mutual destruction. The dead hand, officially known as the perimeter system, remains shrouded in secrecy. Yet its potential impact is chillingly clear. Imagine a world on the brink, nuclear fire raining down, civilization crumbling. This is the legacy of the dead hand. A terrifying glimpse into a future we narrowly avoided, but did we truly escape? The Cold War, a time of paranoia and brinkmanship. The Soviet Union and the West locked in a deadly embrace. Both sides amassed unimaginable nuclear arsenals. Each feared a surprise attack, a knockout blow that could cripple their ability to retaliate. From this fear, the dead hand was born, a failsafe, a deterrent beyond human control. Activated in the 1980s, it was a testament to the chilling logic of the era. If the Soviet leadership were eliminated, the dead hand would ensure a counter-strike unleashing hell upon the earth. The collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 did little to alleviate the unease surrounding the dead hand. It remained a silent guardian of a fallen empire. The dead hand's operation is both ingenious and terrifying. It is designed to lie dormant, constantly monitoring a network of sensors, seismic tremors, radiation levels, atmospheric disturbances. All are scrutinized for signs of a nuclear attack. Should the unthinkable occur, and these sensors detect a nuclear detonation within Soviet borders, the dead hand would awaken. First, it would attempt to confirm the attack, seeking communication with human commanders. But if those commanders are gone, silenced by the initial strike, then the dead hand assumes the worst. The system would then initiate a chilling chain of events. A pre-programmed sequence would unfold, culminating in the launch of a retaliatory strike. A rain of nuclear fire, unleashed not by human hand, but by cold, calculating machinery. Section 4, a symphony of sensors and signals. The Dead Hand's technological heart is a complex web of sensors and communication systems. Seismic sensors buried deep underground would detect the tremors of nuclear explosions. Radiation detectors would monitor for the telltale spikes in radioactivity. Communication networks, hardened against electromagnetic pulses, would carry the vital information back to the system's command center. Once the system determined that a nuclear attack was underway, it would begin the launch sequence. This would involve transmitting launch codes to nuclear-armed submarines, bombers and missile silos scattered across the vast expanse of the former Soviet Union. The Dead Hand's reach would be global, ensuring that no corner of the Earth would be spared from the ensuing nuclear holocaust. Even in the face of widespread devastation, the Dead Hand was designed to function. Its redundancies and failsafes were intended to guarantee its operation, even if parts of the system were destroyed in the initial attack. Section 5. Global Catastrophe. A Real Possibility. The Dead Hand's existence raises profound questions about the nature of deterrence and the risks of automated warfare. Its very existence is predicated on the belief that the only way to prevent nuclear war is to guarantee an equally devastating response. This logic, known as mutually assured destruction, formed the cornerstone of Cold War strategy. Yet, critics argue that such a system is inherently unstable. It relies on perfect information, flawless technology, and the absence of miscalculation or accident. Any error, any misinterpretation of data, could trigger a global catastrophe. The dead hand, in its cold mechanical logic, cannot distinguish between a genuine attack and a false alarm. The potential consequences of a dead hand triggered nuclear war are almost unimaginable. Billions would perish in the initial blasts and ensuing firestorms. Radioactive fallout would contaminate vast swaths of the planet, rendering them uninhabitable for generations. Section six, the ghost in the machine present concerns. Today, the dead hand status remains shrouded in mystery. Officially, Russia maintains that the system is no longer operational. However, intelligence reports and expert analysis suggest otherwise. The system's core infrastructure, its sensors and communication networks, are believed to be maintained and regularly tested. 
This raises the chilling possibility that the dead hand could be reactivated at any time. Furthermore, there are concerns that the system may have undergone secret upgrades, incorporating advances in artificial intelligence and automation. The dead hand, a terrifying relic of a bygone era, may pose a greater threat now than ever before. As tensions between Russia and the West escalate, the world watches with bated breath, hoping that the ghost in the machine remains asleep.